Hello, today we're looking at a process of cell division called meiosis. We've already dealt with mitosis in a previous video, but this is called meiosis. So it's a type of cell division, and it's a type of, type of cell division that produces sex cells. So we have the different kinds of sex cells produced by this type of cell division. And the sex cells, the key word that you must remember for sex cells is gametes. So gametes would be then sperm cells and egg cells in animals. If you're talking about plants, the equivalent of a sperm cell in a plant is pollen, uh, and plants also have egg cells as well. So this process of cell division produces gametes, and gametes include sperm cells, egg cells, and pollen grains, or pollen. So we start off with a parent cell. This is how it works. We start off with a parent cell, and this parent cell has what we call a double set of chromosomes. So you can see there the genetic material is in the form of chromosomes and there we have too long, too short, and we're going to call that a double set. In humans, the actual total number of chromosomes in the double set is 46. It varies for different living things, different plants and animals, but for humans it's 46. When the process of meiosis is complete, we end up with four sex cells or four gametes. So there are four gametes produced by meiosis and in each one you can see that there is a single set of chromosomes. Each has a single set. You can see each one has a long chromosome and a short chromosome, whereas in the parent cell we had too long, too short. So this is one key feature of meiosis. So if in humans the double set is 46, the single set will be 23. But again, that will vary from living thing to living thing, but it always halves. The chromosome number always halves. The next thing is that all gametes, all the gametes produced are genetically different. So they'll contain the same genes, i.e., for example, a gene for whether you can roll your tongue or not into a tube shape, but the different gametes will possibly have different versions of that gene, whether you can or cannot. So all the gametes are genetically different. So that's what's happened as an end result, but what happens in between? Well, we've got, as a first stage, we've got copies of the genetic material that are made. So if you compare the first picture to the second picture, you can see there's a doubling of the genetic information. We also have another key feature of meiosis, and that is the fact that there are two cell divisions. So you can see the cell divides twice in order to produce our four gametes. In mitosis, there was only one uh, division which produced two, cell, two cells or two new cells. This one, the cell divides twice to give our four gametes. And that will result in a halving of the chromosome number. So it's worth making a note of that. The chromosome number halves, or is halved. And you can see that goes from our double set in the parent cell to a single set in each of the gametes. And this is true for every living thing. The chromosome number is halved. We can look at what happens next. So we've got egg cell production in the top diagram there, produced by females. And in the bottom diagram, we've got sperm cell production in males and this is and these are both by the process of meiosis both in males and females so meiosis produces as we said sperm cells and egg cells now any one of those sperm cells could fertilize an egg cell but let's just do those two there when an egg cell meets a sperm cell the fusion of those two or the joining of those two is called fertilization and that will end up with a fertilized egg and that fertilized egg will then have our double set so we started off with a single set in the egg cell and the sperm cell. And we saw how that happened in the previous part of the video. And after fertilization, we return to our double set of chromosomes. And again, in humans, that's 46 for our double set. From then on, the cell will divide by the process of mitosis, which we've looked at before. And that will carry on until we get an embryo and in fact all the way till we get a new little human being. Actually it's probably worth mentioning here that stages in between we've got cell differentiation of the embryo cells, we've got specialization of the embryo cells, they will produce tissues, organs and organ systems and that's when we will get our little fella there. So we can put him in the diagram at that point there. Okay, so the key points for meiosis are in the slide before, and each one of these things is really important for you to know and remember. 
So it's worth just going over this one or two times if you need to and certainly making a note of the different steps. That's the video for Myosis done. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.